Welcome to another alternate format blooper reel. I've got a lot to share with you this time. Anytime you're trying to play through a mission without pausing, randomness is really your enemy, so you can probably imagine the kind of frustrations that I had to deal with here. Well, and if you can't imagine, then I'm about to show you. So, like, like we did with the Heart of the Stone blooper reel, these are going to be shown in the order that the encounters happen in the mission. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one, which is the very first goal patrol that jumps you as soon as you start. The fundamental problem that you're going to have to deal with over and over in this mission is that your dwarfs have to carry a lot of satchels with them. So if one dwarf goes up like a firecracker, then even if you're standing in a loose line formation, the rest will probably go too. So let's just start with a very plain vanilla blooper here. One dwarf yeah. throws into the back of his buddy. Okay. And you end up with a full wipe. Now, for something completely different, here we end up with a goal chasing Balin. And in these situations, you can usually get out of it by just attacking the goal with some other dwarf. The Molotov will hurt Balin, but he'll survive. It doesn't really work out that way here, though. Incoming! Casualty. And for the last blooper from this first encounter, here's a partial wipe with a little bit of punctuation at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Too little, too late. The second goal patrol is trickier than I made it look in the mission video. It's hard for me to tell when or at what point those goals are going to break off and turn to attack, so things can go wrong pretty easily. Here's an example of that. Some things going wrong, but in a okay. nicely um, choreographed fashion. And then here I have some problems when they attack earlier than I was expecting. What? Yeah! Watch it! Poor Balin. Okay, so we're up to the first group of pus goals in that narrow pass. And the, the first approach that I took for these guys was I tried to deal with them just using Balin. I thought I could exploit the fact that they would start to attack and then run away again if you backed off. And so maybe I could just kind of pick at them until they were all gone. Uh, the problem with that is that if you make the slightest mistake, it's easy to get paralyzed, and then you're doomed. Yes, sir. Same encounter here, Balin gets Burr. paralyzed again. Oh, yeah. And I try to help him get away from the goal, but Balin is not green enough to survive Nori's help there. Oh, yeah. Casualty. And the distribution of these airstrike bottles was just too good for me to miss, so I had to just let it all sit and play out. Team Killing Vengeance from Beyond the Grave. My new and improved approach to that encounter was to you know, get some dwarf backup up there with Balin, lure all the goals down, and wipe them all out at once. But of course there's some potential problems with that too, especially yeah. since we're attacking uphill. This fight here has a really nice arc on a bounce back that comes back and wipes us out. Oh, yeah. 
And if a goal manages to squarely hit one of your regular dwarves with a big pus packet, that can seal the deal too. Okay, last blooper for this encounter. It took me a little while to see what was going on with this one. Watch the dwarf closest to the camera, and you'll yeah. see that he gets hit with a flying cleaver right when he's throwing. Okay, on to the second group of pus goals. This is another example of getting taken out by a big pus packet. And the dwarves on the right side of my line were, were packed a little too close together, but... The wide spacing didn't save the guys on the left side of the line. Yeah. And then finally for this encounter we just kind of have a comedy of errors. My, my front squad is screwing up really nicely all on their own. And then my back squad, which I had positioned a little too closely, decides that they should help out. Okay, so those those are all well and good, but what really gets you is when you play through a half-hour mission, avoiding all those pitfalls, and you get to the very last big fight, and something like this happens. So if I sounded especially happy at the end of the mission video, now you know why. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next mission.